Hello students, let us continue the session on rational numbers. We had solved 114 questions from NCRT exemplar. Let's continue with 115th question onwards. Question is, a train travels 1445 upon 2 km in 17 by 2 hours. Find the speed of the train in kilometer per hour here they have given the distance traveled by train the distance traveled by train is given as 1445 upon 2 kilometers and they have given the time taken by train Time taken by train is 17 upon 2 hours. Therefore, speed of train is given by distance traveled divided by time taken. Here the distance traveled is 1445 upon 2 and the time taken is 17 upon 2. This can be further simplified as 1445 upon 2 multiplied to 2 by 17. We need to multiply by the reciprocal. Here 2 and 2 they get cancels. This number 1445 is exactly divisible by 17. You can simplify this. This becomes 85. So it is 85 kilometer per hour. So the speed of the train is 85 kilometer per hour question number 116 if 16 shirts of equal size can be made out of 24 meter of cloth how much cloth is needed for making one shirt here 16 shirts are made are to be made by cloth of 24 meter then one shirt is to be made by cloth of 24 upon 16 meter this is called unitary method we can simplify this and write it as 3 by 2 meter that is nothing but 1.5 meters hence 1.5 meter cloth is required or is needed for making one shirt question 117 7 upon 11 of all the money in Hamid's bank account is rupees 77,000 how much money does Hamid have in his bank account let me consider the money in Hamid's bank account to be a variable, say rupee 6. Let money in Hamid's bank account be rupee 6. 
they have given that 7 by 11 of all the money in Hamid's bank account is rupees 77,000. This implies that 7 by 11 times x is 77,000. Therefore, we can find the value of x. This will be 77,000 to be multiplied to the reciprocal 11 upon 7. We can simplify this. This will be 11 times 7. 11 are 77. So 11,000 multiplied to 11 is 1, 2, 1, followed by 3 zeros. So it is 1,21,000. Hence, Hamid has rupees 1,21,000 in his bank account. Question 118. 117 1 by 3 meter long row is cut into equal pieces measuring 7 1 by 3 meter each. How many such small pieces are these? We have the total length of the rope that is 117 1 by 3 meter. Let me write that we have length of rope equal to 117 1 by 3 meter. Let me express this in improper fraction. This will be 352 upon 3 meters. The length of each piece is 7 1 by 3 meter on expressing this in an improper fraction this is 22 upon 3 meter therefore the number of pieces of the rope will be equal to total length upon length of each piece therefore we need to divide this total length by length of each piece we can express this as the multiplication by writing the reciprocal your 3 will get cancels 12 22 16 times is 352 so the number of small pieces will be 16 therefore number of small pieces cut from 113 1 by 7 sorry 117 1 by 3 meter long rope is 16 so 16 pieces can be made question 119 one sixth of the class students are Ebu average, one fourth are average, and the rest are below average. If there are 48 students in all, how many students are below average in the class? Here they have given the number of Ebu average students. 
let me mention the solution number of above average students is one sixth of uh, class students and they are also given the number of average students the number of average students is one fourth of the class students Therefore, the number of below average students will be equal to 1 minus the sum of 1 by 6 plus 1 by 4 of the class students. Let's simplify this. We get 1 minus the LCM is 12. If 12 the LCM it is 2 plus 3. So we get 1 minus 5 by 12. Which is 1 7 by 12 of the class students. Therefore the number of below average students will be equal to 7 by 12 times of 48 because the total number of students is 48 so 12 4 times is 48 7 4 times is 28 so we get the number of below average students are 28 Question number 120, 2 by 5 of total number of students of a school come by car while one fourth of the students come by bus to the school. All the other students walk to the school of which one third walk on their own and the rest are escorted by their parents. If 224 students come to school walking on their own, how many students study in the school? Here, let me consider the total number of students study in the school be x. So, let me write, let the number of students study in school be x when x is the total number of students we can find the number of students come by car this will be equal to 2 by 5 times of x which is 2 by 5x number of students come by bus is one fourth so one fourth of x so we can find the total uh, students who come by walk so remaining students walk to school so that remaining students is the total minus two fifth of x plus one fourth of x we can simplify this it is x minus 
the LCM whole year is 20. So 8x plus 5x. We get it as x minus 13x by 20. On simplification, we get 7x by 20. Now, number of students walk to school on their own is one third of seven x by twenty. Operation of is same as the multiplication. So we get 7x by 60. Therefore, 7x by 60, they have given that the number of students who come by work is 224. So this has to be equated to 224. We can find the value of x. This will be 224 into 60 upon 7. Let's simplify. We get 1920. Therefore, the total number of students study in that school is 1920. Question 121. Huma, Hubna, and Seema received a total of rupees. 2016 as monthly allowance from their mother such that Seema gets half of what Huma gets and Hubna gets 1, 2 by 3 times of Seema's share. How much money do the three sisters get individually? Here Seema gets allowance which is half of who much share so that is the information given let me mention that Seema gets allowance that is equal to half of who much share And they have also given that Hubnas gets allowance which is equal to 1, 2 by 3 times of Seema's share. This 1, 2 by 3 I can express as an improper fraction that is 5 by 3 of Seema's share. This will be equal to 5 by 3 of they have given Seema's share as half of Huma's share. So it is 1 by 2 of Huma's share. We can understand that Operation of is multiplication, so 5 by 3 multiplied to 1 by 2 is 5 by 6 of Homer's share. But as per the given information, we have Homer's share plus Kobna's share. plus Seema share the total is rupees 216 as per our understanding it is one time of Huma share and Hubna share is 5 by 6 of Huma share. 
and Sima share is half of Huma share and the total is rupees 216. Now we can write the same thing as 1 added to 5 by 6 added to 1 by 2 of Huma share. This is rupees 216. We can simplify this part. LCM is 6. If 6 is the LCM, we need to add 6 with 5 and 3. Upon addition, we get 14 by 6 of Huma share is rupees 200. 16. Therefore, Huma's share will be rupees 2016 to be multiplied with 6 upon 14. We get it as rupees 864. This is Huma's share. Once we get Huma share, we can find out Seema share and Hubna share. Therefore, Seema share will be half of rupees 864, we get rupees 432 and Hubna's share. is 5 by 6 times of rupees 864 on simplification we get 720 rupees therefore huma hubna and seema gets rupees 864 432 and rupees 720 respectively Hope you have understood this. If it is becoming difficult to understand, you can consider the Huma share as x so that x is added to 5 by 6 times of x added to 1 by 2 times of x. The total is 2016. On simplification, we get 14x upon 6 equal to 2016 find the value of x you get 864 in this way also it can be solved with this question i'll end today's session thank you